Okay, so I've done a load of speed test videos in the past on Raspberry Pi. I have a load of SD cards and I've been recommended two new ones. So the Lexar Professional and the Ultima Pro have been recommended to me in the comments. So I figured I'd give them a try. I also bought this Adroit Lark, which is a cheap two pack 32 gig SD card because I like trying out the cheap ones as well. So I've always used the same method in all my videos. I write a fresh copy of Raspberry Pi OS to an SD card and then use the speed card diagnostics from the Raspberry Pi Foundation to test the card. So let's go in uh, Manjara and find Imager. So type in Imager, and you can see Raspberry Pi Imager is here. So let's install that and apply. And it looks like it wants to do all the updates at once, so I'll let it do that. But uh, this is Manjaro KDE, which I've been recommended to try in the comments, and uh, so far so good. It looks great, and it feels really fast from an SD card. I'll put all the speed test results in the description and also any previous speed test results I've got. And there's also Amazon affiliate links, so if you want to buy any of these cards, you can do. Okay, so press the Windows key and start typing Imager. That's all installed. Choose OS. So I'm going to use the standard Raspberry Pi OS. And I'm going to write that to all three cards. Okay, so you can see by the wallpaper this is the Adroit Lark. Uh, so let's do a couple of speed tests. So accessories and diagnostics and run tests. I generally do this three times, so let's hit run tests. Okay, so the first one is a pass, which is great, happy with that. So let's pop that over here for now, and reset and run tests again. You generally find the first test is not the best one, uh, the second and third is usually better. Okay, so test number two, so let's pop just that bit into here. There you go, so let's close this one down, reset, and run the third test and show log and let's paste that in okay so looking through it uh, you can see that it's all pretty similar there's not much in it I think I'm going to keep this one because this has got 36571 for the sequential write speed target is 10,000 uh, random write speed is nearly double what it needs to be and random read speed is more than double what it needs to be so uh, we had a better random read speed here uh, random write speed, it was better in this first one. So yeah, I'm going to stick with this first one. And I've got on my NAS drive, I've got the results from 12 other ones. So in all Pi and speed tests, and which one is it? This one here, 15 speed card test. There's only 12 there at the moment, but I called it 15 because there will be the three I'm adding today. Now let's see where that comes in. So. On the sequential write speed, that beat the Kingston 64 gig canvas, which is the one I usually keep at the top for price and performance. I think it's probably been one of the best ones I've had so far. Uh, you can see random write speed is quicker on the Kingston, so that is definitely one area that it's better. So I'm still going to leave it in that place. Uh, comparing it to the Extreme Pro, the Extreme Pro is still better, although the random read speed is worse on the SanDisk Extreme Pro, which is quite an expensive card or reasonably expensive. So I'm never really that bothered about the sequential write speed, um, but the random read speed is one of the strong ones. So I'm going to put it, well, lower than the Brave Eagle, lower than the Alert Seal, but above the Magics. So in this place, I reckon. I only do this as, a, as an approximation. You can go through the test results yourself and, and see what you think. So this was the Adroit Lark 32 gigabyte. So let's save that. Hopefully that will save all right on the server, but I'm also going to save it on the desktop just in case. So I can go back to it if I need to. There we go. And all of these results will be in the description. So let's close that down and boot up with the next card. Okay, so I'm going to go with the best result, which was the first one, uh, because it is uh, how I was doing some of the other tests. I just looked back through my video and how I did the Kingston A2, and two of the other results were lower. Uh, but I picked the top result, so I think it's only fair that I pick the top result in this case, even though, bear in mind, that those other two results were a bit lower, uh, so especially if we're looking at the random read speed. Uh, it still remains high, and it is still very good, but uh, yeah, I'm going to copy that and put that just under the Kingston. So, integral... And the third and final test today is the Lexar 1066X. So let's do exactly the same with that. Oh, the random write speed was bad on that one for uh, such an expensive card. The random read speed's good though. 
Okay, so it's passed all three tests, but the random write speed for uh, a premium card is a bit disappointing, really. I was expecting better. I left, I left it till last, thinking it was going to be the best one. So the random read speed, I think, is probably the most important for an OS, um, for loading things up and generally running an OS. And that has been good on this card. So three, what's the highest? Three, two, seven, eight is the highest. And where does that come in on here? So that comes above the Extreme Pro. But I'm going to have to mark it down because of that really poor random write speed. If you look down through the list, random write speed, you have to go pretty far down to get as low as the 700s, the Samsung Evo 32, which is quite a cheap card. Uh, good card, and I, I'm, I'm happy with it, but that's quite a cheap card. Uh, this uh, SanDisk 64, I, I explained it in another video, it was from my GoPro, so it wasn't a new card. It's the only one I haven't done as a brand new card where I write the OS and do the whole pro procedure as you've seen here. So I'm going to go with uh, the fastest one it's got in the random read at 3278, but I'm going to put it under the magics um, only because the random write speed is not good. Right, so I'll pop it there. So overall, from today's test, the Integral is the best one. Um, but the Kingston 64 gig Canvas Go, I still really like as a card. I think overall the performance is great. Um, but I wouldn't rule out the uh, the Brave Eagle and the Alert Seal that I've had recently. Uh, they were really quite inexpensive cards, but are definitely giving good results. The Adroit Lark came in a two pack and that was pretty cheap. So uh, again, I'd recommend that. I mean, most of them, especially near the top of this list, uh, I would definitely recommend, and uh, and I'm really pleased with them. The, the cost of SD cards is very, very reasonable at the moment, um, and uh, and they, they work absolutely fine for most operating systems on the Pi. That said, I still generally recommend an SSD because you get much quicker speeds from an SSD drive, but uh, because I run so many different operating systems, I'm always messing about with it. Uh, I often use SD cards just because it's simpler. You don't have to set up anything for USB boot. Nothing has to be changed. Uh, it is the standard thing on the Pi. So anyway, I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.